be like Brittany when I grow up. Into the box. Oh boy. <laughs> talk about today like have you ever have people ever have you heard someone say well I heard that so and so said that said something about you but what does that really mean did you personally hear it if you're willing to spread it are you willing to go to the source because sometimes we get caught up in the he said she said it's the same with families kids go home talk to their parents about their day. Their version is sometimes, well, a lot of times, a little bit different than what happened. But once that personal conversation happens, then we communicate and find out the real issue. I believe that communication and building relationships is so important, not only between our colleagues, but with our families, and our students. How can we communicate and build those relationships better with our colleagues, our students, and our families? Well, I might just have a few ideas. Let me switch chairs up. Because <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> with respect no matter the different or with no matter what is the key I think especially if you're respectful um, face to face is so much better text and emails can be so impersonal and I see that with kids all the time sometimes people use all caps like they're shouting at you it makes you feel a little cringy sometimes um, but sometimes those single word responses also make it seem like someone doesn't really care. Me, I'm just a little bit exclamation point happy. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. well, look at you guys laugh. Yeah, so one time, um, and I like to do that because I want someone to know that I, that I care and that I'm excited about what you're saying. One time Miss Annie came to me, is she here today? Oh, good. Yeah, Miss Annie came to me, and she was so, she was like, um, are you mad? Why would I be mad? Well, because you do so many exclamation points. I don't know if you're mad at me or shouting, shouting at me. I'm like, no, I'm just super excited and happy about what you said to me. But she felt like I was yelling at her, and so I was so thankful that she came to me and said something to me, because now we have, we have a great texting relationship. But second, our families. We have a website, we have a blog, we have a parent square, we have Facebook, we have so much. Geez, what more can we do to communicate with them? Well, I believe face-to-face -face or a phone call is truly magical. Simple communication to build that relationship. It's so easy to hide behind social media, but when a person can see your facial expressions and hear the tone in your voice, it makes such a difference. It's more personal, it's more powerful. Poor Laura Crumb, <laughs> she gets the heat. She, well, not that often, because people aren't mad at me that much. <laughs> but she does get the heat. But when I do finally get through to them and talk to them and they can hear my voice and we can talk it out, it makes them understand and it makes them a little bit more happy most of the time. <laughs> Lastly, our students, they need us. They need us so much. They need us to believe in them and to know about them. They want to know about us. So communicating and building relationships goes a long way. You can empathize and feel where students are coming from and know what is happening in their lives, and that can help to make a larger impact. We are here for them, and they need to feel that sense of belonging. We all have those former students that call or email and thank us. Gosh, Mark and I have kids stop by the house to say stuff to us and thank us. We've had, I've had past students, I've had past student teachers through the years and even become administrators and call me to tell me thank you. It's all in that communication and relationship building.
So with simple communication and our small school relationships, we can and do create a lifelong impact. Thank you and have a wonderful year.